are still many places in the world where freedom is not a right, peace is not guaranteed, childhood is not protected. Theaters of war, but also areas of social and political instability where corruption and poverty are rampant, overwhelming the future of entire generations. To help peacemaking, reconstruction, the protection of human rights, and the development of the economy, every year volunteers and members of international organizations travel to these areas at risk. For 25 years, the Santana School has set up an international training program for conflict management to train experts in this sector who today, however, face new dangers. At the beginning, they were perceived as persons who were coming to support, to help the local population, the local institutions. The situation changed dramatically, and the bad guys have understood that it is easy if they are able to hit international stuff. The ease in attacking civilian personnel and the resulting media attention turn rescuers increasingly into victims. According to one of the rare databases available in the last 20 years, over 4,300 operators have been attacked, more than 1,600 killed, over 1,200 kidnapped. An impressive phenomenon. To protect them, a course called HEAT has been established, Hostile Environment Awareness Training. In 2012, the European Union asked the Scuola to prepare the minimum content of these training courses. Our courses are organized in close cooperation with the Regiment Tuscania of the Carabinieri Corps, of the Italian Carabinieri Corps. They have an extraordinary experience, which has been gained in working in several international field operations worldwide. And the experience they have gained has an immediate impact on our courses because we are trying to create situations which are based on the real situation which happened in the field. My feeling is that having put together two excellences, one the squall and the other one this elite corps of the Carabinieri, has been a winning tool to improve the quality of our training courses. To make the preparation realistic, the HEAT program is designed to first provide the basis for understanding and analyzing situations. I give you an example. If anyone is supposed to go to Kabul to attend the meeting, he should know not only how to survive in physical terms, but he should know necessarily as well which are the local laws, which is the law you have to obey to. And through our courses, we try really to offer you an overall concept of personal security to improve your quality and to improve your personal safety. After a brief theoretical phase, the course immediately moves to the Carabinieri military training area. It is here on an intensive course that candidates learn and put into practice the basics to protect their lives from the potential dangers of their missions. Notions of orientation, planning, and first aid are a prelude to the completion of real missions, studded with unexpected events, explosions, accidents, and the realistic simulation of dangerous situations, from being arrested to kidnapping. One of the hardest moments is the moment in which our participants are kidnapped. That's really a difficult moment. They are a little bit harassed. They have to suffer some kind of consequences. There is very strong music which they have to listen to. Our goal is to increase the level of stress because they need to know how to deal with stress. Each situation is studied and simulated down to the smallest detail and each response is calibrated to each danger. We inevitably need to increase the level of stress. And the reason is that we would like to allow the participants to understand and to self-evaluate if they are really ready to work under stressful conditions in very high or critical risk countries. Our goal is not to transform civilians into Rambos, not at all. We would like simply to provide them the minimum essential elements in terms of knowledge and competence to be able to survive in hostile environment and to be able to better perform their professional tasks. Statistically, at least 10% of the participants encounter great difficulties in managing risky situations. Some give up the mission, but most of them come out more aware and prepared for this delicate task. 
This is how the Santana School makes the difference in raising the safety of civilians in areas at risk. Our training methodology and the content of our training is based on significant research activities which has been carried out throughout the years. I feel that it is our moral obligation as a privileged group of researchers of the university paid by the state to transfer this knowledge and competences to those who need them because they are conducting a fundamental work for the benefit of the international community working in very complicated and hostile environments.